Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. Sagittarius, I am here to give you your little energy check, right? Um, this reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate, toss out the rest. And thank you so much, Sagittarius, for all of your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. I really do appreciate everything. Thank you so, so much. We're growing this thing from the ground up. And if you guys want more readings, I do all the signs and collective readings and cancer readings, everything over on um, Lumen Moon Tarot, right? So anyway, um, Divine, what do you have for Sagittarius today? What's going on with Sagittarius? Oh boy, someone's having some trouble. I feel like they're having a hard time keeping up with their own gossip. I feel like... Um, I feel like this person feels really out in the cold, maybe stuck with somebody else that they followed out in the cold. They could be having financial issues. They could have lost a job, lost a home, been evicted. Uh, and I feel like it's been due to a lot of partying. I feel like they're with somebody who does a lot of partying to uh, maybe a, a party person. There's a lot of gossip going on here too. And I feel like this this is a person who had a hard time keeping up with all the gossip and the partying and the possible third parties. But I'm getting more of a partying, just running down their life, right? Um, and here you are in Empress Energy. I think you've had enough of this person here. Um, you're using your intuition. This is somebody who stabbed you in the back. Um, you could even have a baby with this person, uh, not necessarily though, but this is somebody that you're just like, you've had enough. I feel like you cut this person out of your life so that you could focus on you. Um, you're growing a lot of abundance here. Okay. You've leveled up, uh, three levels in, in your journey here. You're very intuitive, highly connected to the divine, high priestess energy and empress energy together that's some pretty intense that's like an intense spiritual glow up okay and i feel like you've just um you've gotten your clarity through messages from the divine you've gotten your clarity in this situation um because you're tapped in because you're intuitive and i feel like you're just you, you've turned your back on the situation here and and your person feels all beat up i feel like they want to talk they're very clear on this now. Look at they're wearing, ba they've got band-aids on all over here. Um, I feel like they're sweating. They're out in the cold. Just too much partying, too much celebrating, too much gossip. Um, yeah, and now it's like they want to talk. Now they see things clearly, right? Now they see things clearly looking at it from the other side of the fence, right? Um, you're very, very abundant now, and their life seems to be falling apart. Now they want to come forward here. Eight of Wands energy. Uh, you could hear from this person online, I've got to say, but I feel a lot of toxicity with this person. They're still with somebody else. Uh, who knows, they may even still be partying. I feel like with the skeletons here, it's almost like they're losing their health, okay? Like their health is rapidly dwindling because of this lifestyle. And look at, look at you. You're out here being loving. Uh, you gave this person unconditional love. The kind of nurturing they're not going to find anywhere else, Sagittarius. They're just not going to find it. You know, the Queen of Cups, and you're very, very spiritual. You could be um, another tarot card reader out here. Becoming very abundant, telling the truth, speaking your truth. You know, I feel like you're helping others because you've been through it. You know, the Queen of Swords energy, she comes from a loving space like the Queen of Cups. And then people take advantage of her and betray her, sticking the sword in her back and abandoning her to pull that sword out herself. That's why you're holding it. 
you know, and, and she says, you know, I'm going to speak the truth about my pain. And I feel like that's what you're doing here. You're helping others heal in the way you healed yourself. Okay, you understand here um, that when you're this loving, this nurturing, and you give your, your love up freely like this, that people take advantage of you, full advantage of you. You understand the lessons, you understand the pain, and that's how you have the ability to help other people. It's actually quite beautiful, and because of that, I feel like you're not just a leader here, but you're a very abundant one. It's it's making you very abundant, okay? And your person, they're over here stuck. I feel like they're still with this karmic individual that they followed out in the cold. I got to say it. They look pretty bound and stuck with the collar on here, you know? They're still in a toxic situation. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Or an earth sign. Yeah, I feel like you took your pain, you you and and you turned it into a way to heal other people. And because of that, you're becoming abundant. You're a star. You're out here in the public eye here. You could be a star. Okay. Um, all of these stars up here, these are people that you're guiding. These are people that you're helping. You're pouring loving energy into you, and you're pouring loving energy into the world. You've healed yourself, and you're helping to heal the world. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's someone new coming towards you. Just by the way I laid it down and this, your eyes are focused here, I feel like you guys may be manifesting somebody who's going to be decent. Because you know this person over here, I feel like they're very toxic. They, they do want to talk to you. You could hear from this person online. But these are toxic messages, I feel. Okay? Because they're still wrapped up with the devil. And I feel like you're, um, you've got earth angel, light worker kind of energy going on. And you want something that's pure. You want something that's from the divine. Not from the devil. Yeah, thank you. Haha, <laughs> that was on the bottom of the deck. Thank you. This is letting me know that they're watching me, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I didn't know they were on the bottom of the deck. Thank you, Divine. Yes, you want something from the Divine. You want a deeper, higher love, okay? Um, if that makes sense, right? You want something that's going to be real and true and for you. And that's what you're holding out for. That's what you're trying to manifest here. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was on the bottom of the deck. You don't want somebody who's going to come in with a fish in the cup. What are you going to do with this fish? What are you not? I mean, it is cute. It's got a little hat. But what are you going to do with this fish? You've already got this cup, and this cup is much bigger and much better. Like, look at how decorated this cup is, right? And what's in this cup is your love, your nurturing, um, your, your caring, consideration, right? Um, the ability to help other people the way, you, the way you're so kind to other people, right? This is a, very, this is a cup of love here. Your your intuition is in this cup. Your spirituality is in this cup. Your beliefs are in this cup. Your creativity is in this cup. You've got a lot more than a fish in this cup. What are you going to do with this cup over here when you've got all of this? You don't want somebody who's going to come in immature with a fish in a cup. Okay? Because really they can come in and apologize to you. But what is it? what is that apology worth really? If they're still wrapped up in the same kind of energy. Do you see what I'm saying? They're not really able to offer you anything right now. And you have everything that you could possibly need or want right here. And I feel like the only thing you don't have is this perfect God-sent love. And it's coming. It's coming with the higher font out here. Yeah, so um, be strong here right? I feel like you're going to turn away anybody with in and out energy. Yeah. 
And I feel like um, this person over here, they may have had a chance with you before, but I feel like they're kind of losing you here. They are. They're losing this Empress. Yeah, because they, they just, they, they want to get away with, whatever they did they that's what how they are used to living right do whatever they want have a great time yay yahoo meanwhile they're just getting further and further out in the cold right out in a bad money situation a bad health situation a bad living situation and they they just want to get away with it i feel like this person is told um a lot they've gossiped a lot about you behind your back right and they may want to get away with that too yeah you don't have any time for this kind of crap nothing deceptive no users no in and out energy no third parties no uh devilish bs no you're you're really standing strong against that because you know what you deserve and what you deserve is a higher love from the divine yeah anyway listen Sagittarius that's what I've got for this quick reading I do hope this helps I hope it resonates with you guys thank you so much for helping me to build this channel I really do appreciate all of your support and um, until next time Sagittarius take care of you and peace out